Hello and welcome to I think what's my third sketchbook video on this channel. The sketchbook was mine for my first year of being an art student. So what's kind of different about this one is that first of all, one of my friends drew in it. But second of all, actually there's three things. Second of all, it's full of a lot of thumbnails and planning sketches and I'll try to be not lazy and insert pictures of what I have pictures of. Um, a lot of it's on my, Insta on my art Instagram so I can transfer them into the video hopefully. And also the third thing is that I, it took me a really long time to finish this, like a, a little bit over a year because I was having a lot of wrist pain. So I was sort of saving my wrist for working on bigger pieces. But yeah, I still think it's pretty cool sketchbook and I like, personally I like seeing thumbnails and how they progress into big pieces so hopefully I can edit this in a way that will be helpful in that department. So anyways, let's go! So I like covering my first page in stickers is nothing new. Um, Alright, so this is where my sketchbook starts. It's an airport sketch and I have all my air- like I, I use the sketchbook a little bit as a scrapbook too. Um, more plain sketches and that kind of stuff. Some skulls and zombie people. Um, this was a little, I think it's crayola marker and watercolor. A little doodle I did in the car. The lighting is so bad, I'm sorry. I don't have my overhead rig and lights because I'm home. Um, it's just some little figure sketches. Um, some like joke sort of drawings my friends had me do of them as a B-movie and Shrek because we're adults. Um, kind of just stuff from last summer. And this is when I got to New York for when college started. I was just doodling with my friend Casey. Um, this is before school started and this is the ugliest. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't sketch any, like, with a brush. With a pen, it's fine, but we went to the Bronx Zoo. We did some sketches. We just, I like the lemurs a lot. They're quite fun. So I did some of those puppies. Snow leopards are like my favorite there though. Um, cat, because I missed my cat already even though it was only like a week. Um, oh, my bed bath and beyond receipt from when school started is crazy. Oh, okay. So this is like right when class started. I have some little sketches for we like negative space sort of like bringing the highlights and stuff, you know, some syllabuses and stuff I taped in just because I'm sentimental college student. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, again, kind of like looking at statues and stuff. These are like famous statues. I think they're all in New York, but I'm not completely sure. This graph was for a project I did for my 40 class where I was sort of analyzing elevator behavior. So like the reds up, the, bl the blues down, all the stops or the lines. And I stood in the elevator like a creep for 20 minutes and analyzed that and also took video the whole time. So then I and then I made a piece where I drew the people that were in the elevator and what they were doing and out of the graph. I'll uh I'll put it in here. You can see for yourself. This is again class stuff. I tip talk about what's in our backpack, I guess. I don't know. Make a list. This was again on the same topic of like famous statues I made. The green one into a little orange one of myself, and I have the sketch, the sketches and stuff happening. This is like, can you even see that over here? There's like a one minute little doodle of myself. I like timed myself. I think it's kind of fun. It's gestural, which maybe means I should just always limit my time. This painting, it's just like I used extra paint that I had lying around from a color assignment, I think. It looks a lot more like bright in person. It's very much tomato, though. So. <laughs> and my friend Claire drew that. My friend Diane drew that. Um, my friend Johnny in class, because I draw people like a queen. Because <laughs> I like life drawing. That eggplant drawing is actually kind of significant for my 3D class because it was a sketch for a giant eggplant like plushie I made as a joke because our teacher told us to make a fruit or vegetable. Um, and then I made an accompanying dress which you'll see the sketches for later. Um, this is for a cardboard like pangolin I made. You can barely see that but I'll, I'll see if I have a picture of it somewhere. It's kind of fun. It's pretty cute. Ink. But this time with a sketch. More leftover paint. 
sketching. Oh my god. This is like really ugly middle of the night sketching. <laughs> middle of the night be emo sketching. This is a dress measurement, so I took all my own measurements, so I could make a little eggplant dress. It's like a purpley satin, very eggplanty. It's like a continuous line thing of my roommate in bed. It's literally, ooh, that's not even focused. I don't know what if we actually drawing her. And then some meme drawings of my friends and some sketches of lips because I was a guest artist at Party New York in the makeup area and I did a lot of sketches of like lips and that kind of stuff on makeup bags in paint, which was pretty cool. Um, some, I went to the Bronx Zoo again with my friend Casey. We drew more animals. My friend John drew that on my birthday. With my friend Claire sleeping in class and these are more animals at the Bronx Zoo. More Bronx Zoo and Casey. And this is a color class where we had to draw like the colors of, of memory. I don't know if that's picking up at all on this given one. This lighting is horrible, I'm sorry. My friend Izzy did that. I was testing out some new watercolors. Oh, this looks so muddy on camera. Well, in reality, it's a lot more glittery and gold and like magenta y and pretty. These are some sketches I did by pausing like a dance practice on YouTube with ink, but this time not a brush, it was like a marker, so I did a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to practice sketching with ink because of line confidence, by the way. This is some sketches I made really late at night. This is like, they're like really anatomically incorrect, but they're basically the start of this four-piece project I did about the subtlety of emotion, like stress versus anxiety, like versus sadness versus, you know, whatever. And then I like added notes of like what I want to happen to it. These are more of the thumbnails. So this is like the yellow. Oh wow, these are not picking up. This is like the blue one, the yellow one, and the pink one. And that was the initial sketch of the pink one, but I didn't like it as much. Which is the point of thumbnails and deciding if you like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is really hot. This is my friend. Oh, it's funny. To draw some ugly drawings of her sleeping because that's what friends are for. And this is sketching an ink pen again. Or marker, I guess. It's like a really thin marker. Um, my friend is. <laughs> and more snow leopard because I love snow leopards. And I did a wire, like, sort of sculpture situation, hanging sculpture out of, and it was a snow leopard. This is my friend John, some drawings of him. Um, <laughs> I guess I was like drunk for these, but these are some thumbnails I did for a project I did, um, where basically I took like a staff paper book and I filled a bunch of pages with, I like hand wrote the sheet music for a bunch of songs that are relevant to like significant moments in my life. And then I did sketches over top of me during those times and like relevant scenes of my life over the music. Um, and it was kind of like a sort of diary almost. Um, it took a really long time to write all the sheet music, so can't recommend. But it was pretty cool. Um, I tested out a gold paint marker. Pretty cool. This was a self-portrait that I did because we had an assignment where we had to draw portraits of people we love. And I did my friend Taylor, but one of the kids in my class um, did, forgot to do it. And so I did a quick self-portrait of myself and he turned it in as uh, someone he loved. It was really funny. Um, and some winter break stuff. This is when I got back to school. These are like sketches for like, a pottery project I did. It was like this ugly base. These are color assignments. More ink pens. These are from in class because I had a really boring class. These are um, thumbnails I did for a triptych I did where it was like two paintings and then a video in the middle on like an iPad me playing and the papers were the same size as the iPad. Um, and it was about Chicatomania. I'll see if I can insert like a still picture, but the video itself is on my Instagram. Um, more sketches from that boring class I was in. I used the gold paint pen on this one, but only after I got back to my dorm. This is when I got back into, uh, I guess like I figured out that I could blend with my finger using colorist pencils. 
just a little bit to soften it and I was like, oh, this is exciting. What a new revelation, I guess, I don't know. So I started drawing a lot with those because I got excited about blending shadows. And this is hmm, something I didn't finish. More sketches from the class because I like to be studious and not pay attention. Uh, but to be fair, he's a bad teacher. This is oh sketches for a like bedside table I made with shelves in it and like a mirror in it and stuff that I made for my apartment in woodshop. More sketches from class. My friend Casey did this one um, while we were in, I think out to dinner. This was oh yeah for my writing class I had to make like a big. Um, like a collage or something and I was thumbnailing it these are just self-portraits that's a lizard I made I, I sketched out for like a a mug I my friend Elizabeth it's like a lizard on skateboard second so inside joke from elementary school my friend's juvies more like thumbnails and this stuff from the Adrian Piper show I think so it was at MoMA and these are some ideas for a 2D product they did or 2D drawing Ooh. Oh, I really like just can't draw with an ink brush without a sketch underneath. Like it's, I don't know. I need to learn. Um, this is my teacher class. Draw with some like fine letters, and this is Percy Jackson because I'm forever gonna be trash. This is also a really bad drawing of him, so that's good. And that's another drawing of Percy Jackson. This leg looks fucked, but like whatever. It's a little bit better. And that's again my teacher. Um, my friend is to do this. These are those things where you fold over the paper and you draw like something on one side and someone else draws on the other side and it always looks disgusting, so. This is my friend Sophie unleashing her true form as a furry. Um, she's my roommate this year and this is really nice. You know, oh yeah, baby. And this is my friend Brandon being thick. Oh yeah. And these are both Crayola markers. Because that's how I roll. I'm 12. I mean, not even. What am I? Who uses Crayola? Like five. I'm five. A lot of the markers do this Crayola marker. <laughs> um, it's a nice, beautiful double chin baby. Oh yes, girl. These are some sexy. <laughs> joking. They're figure sketches. Um, I think I used photographs of like naked people for those. This was sort of a, a parody of like those old paintings of like esteemed ladies, but I um, gave her a really disgusting like double chin face, which is like super sexy. Then I replaced the dog that's normally in these kind of pictures with a cat because the cat um, represents like witchcraft and stuff versus the dog that represents like loyalty to their husband. And I thought that was funny. And then I made an oil painting off of this sketch for funsies. This was, I took a little break from drawing before um, this page of drawing. This was like me getting back into drawing after school. This was probably like July already, like it was late. And so I had to get like back into sketching. So I was like practicing figure sketches again. And the reason I had to get back into drawing is because my wrist was hurting a lot, like April, May, June. So this is when it started to get a little bit easier um, to draw again. And I've been pretty good with my braces, my wrist braces. So hopefully I'll be good again. Um, this is a thumbnail for an oil painting I did. Re I just recently finished it. Of me, like, it's kind of exposing myself for being not sexy. Like, it's me in bed with, like, my retainer and my wrist braces and all that. This is a dip pen sketch in ink. Um, and this paper hates my dip pen, so I decided to use different paper. I'll insert the picture of what I actually ended up doing. Again, I just can't sketch with an ink brush. Like I, I need to like, I don't know if I just need to stop trying. I just go back to using an ink pen or just like, I don't know. And I think this is actually the last page in here. Um, I have a few extra pages, but because my wrist was hurting, I didn't, and I, I, I'm going back to school in like two days. So I just kind of want to get a new sketchbook when I get there. This is from life. This is when the model was on break. And then this is at the end of class, I had finished my painting. So I did a little ink sketch of her. And I think it's kind of fun and graphic and all that. Good time, good time. He looks angry just like in real life and i believe that's it thanks for watching and if you want to see better pictures or the pictures for not two seconds just you can go to my art instagram at, at this is maddie maddie spelled with one d 
I spelled my name weird, M A D Y. That's the place where I post most of my art, so if you want to keep up with it in any manner, that's the place to go to see what I'm doing finished piece wise. I'm going to try my best to actually upload stuff this year, so we'll see how that goes once I get back to New York and to my apartment. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a YouTuber.